What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back again, and in today's video, I'm going to test the WinLater emulator on a low-end Snapdragon device using the best possible settings. It's been a long time since I tested WinLater on this Snapdragon, and now a lot of turnip drivers have been updated, like things aren't like before. The latest drivers usually struggle to emulate games on these older Adreno 6 series GPUs, especially the lower-end ones. The phone I'm using here is the Moto G45, powered by the Snapdragon 6S Gen 3, which is basically a rebranded of Snapdragon 695 with the Adreno 619 GPU. This phone comes with 8 gigs of RAM and UFS storage. In this video, I'll be showing you the best possible settings that actually work well on this device. So, I've already installed the latest WinLater hotfix version, and the same settings also apply for the Game Hub emulator. First, let's go into settings. Set Box64 version to 0.3.6 and set the preset to performance. I've already created a container for this GPU. As usual, keep the resolution at low 600p for better performance. In graphics driver, choose Turnip Adreno with driver 24.1. So, and it's very important, guys, because the driver 24 works well on this GPU, while driver 25 is meant for high end Adreno 6 series GPUs. Set device max memory to 2 to 4 gigs. That's it. Now set DXVK version to 2.4.1, or any other compatible version depending on the game. These settings are very important for anyone using Adreno 610 to 6 Wintine GPUs, but please don't expect heavy titles like DirectX 12 or some DX11 games to run on this. Like this GPU performance is more like the Intel HD 4000 or a NVIDIA GT 210, if you know that level. Save the container. Now let's boot it. Once everything is configured, in GPU info, you can see that our Adreno 619 is detected properly with both Vulkan and OpenGL drivers, and the assigned heap size is set to 4 gigs. Before starting, first make sure to check out the direct 3D test. If it passes, you're good to continue. Now it's time for the test. I've already added my shortcuts and enabled turbo mode to use maximum power. For each game, you can apply settings individually, but always use the same Turnip24 driver. We'll start with Assassin's Creed Rogue. All settings are provided in the video description with timestamps below, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the test. Sunbathe on a beach with pirates. Insanity. You have the right to take my life. The Lamat Tengahari. I have Jason Brody with me, the man who escaped fast camp of a life. Our escape is a sign that the battle has turned. Our people are in the news. So.
Yes, right, huh? It's done. Good. All right, so Tomb Raider is not loading here in Winlater. Could be a driver issue. So I'll test that one in GameHub. Some games run better on GameHub, some on Winlater. It depends on optimization. Here are the GameHub settings. Layer set to Proton 9, driver 24.3 R19. Follow these same settings. So that's all for this video guys. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more. And also, do check out the recent tests on Mali GPU devices as well, links below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.